likely just pick that up for yourself. Okay, Michelle and I get to do picks in the show. And the one thing that we know we've seen in the years we've worked together with Diamond Jewelry is that we can't keep bracelets in stock. We right. just literally can't. And true. if you think about the percentage of in our diamond collection, our diamond affinity collection, which are all natural diamonds, and we'll kind of revisit it. This show is flying by, but you are in the midst of your jewelry favorites. Clearly, diamonds are a big one. I know in our value of the day, Tony, we've sold like over a thousand, right? We've sold eleven hundred, which is well over half of our quantity. And you can always shop backwards. When you see my hand, that's the choice of the ring in two sizes of diamonds, half and full, and two colors of, of gold, white and yellow. And then we also said, well, let's do the earrings too. And now we have the half or the whole carrot hoop huggies, and that's done in your choice of white or yellow. But now it calls attention to this beautiful bracelet. I mean, I know it's a tennis bracelet, but it might be the coolest tennis bracelet ever made. Isn't it gorgeous? It is. This price is going up at the end of the day. It is $400 off. Our, I mean, we work so hard to bring you the best prices, but we brought you beautiful diamonds, beautiful gold, in your choice of a six and three quarter, a seven and a quarter, or an eight inch, and either white gold or yellow gold, and the price is going up at the end of the day. Michelle, I love a bezel because I'm hard on jewelry, and yes. I think that if you want the tennis brace that you've been waiting for in real diamonds that you put on and you never take off, you yes. cook dinner, you knit, you pet the dog, you pick up the cat, you might even leave it on and never take it off when you're going to bed or in the shower, I think this one is it. I had it on with my Apple Watch. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it looks so good with my Apple Watch. I was shocked, you know, I, it, because to me it's so delicate and feminine and dainty, almost lacy. Right. Um, it sort of harkens back back to the diamonds by the yard style mm -hmm. only the diamonds here are by the you know eighth of an inch quarter inch <laughs> they're hooked together with a jump ring but they feel so good i didn't even finish hooking this one but it's actually got you know a double safety catch on the back of it feels very silky against your skin that's all 14 karat gold so what we've done is we've luxed it up right you know we've made it very posh and very special and, and I think modern people have been looking for this and modern mm -hmm. and really modern so we have it in white gold or yellow gold we have it in three sizes i mean imagine like this this is the kind of bracelet if I'm watching a TV show like there's so many cool mini series now on Netflix and everything mm -hmm. and if you're watching something or you're reading a novel about the person that's just got everything they have amazing taste they have beautiful jewelry they have incredible things that's this bracelet and I think it could be as perfect on a 25 or a 30 year old's wrist or a 21 or an 18 year old's wrist as it would be in a woman who is like me 60 and up and we're still loving and living life because um, it's got the bezel set. Like when I think of a tennis bracelet, I think of a four prong set stone. Yes. I, I, I look at this and it's like, yes, it's obviously inspired by the t this tennis, but it's so much more. It's well, like it solves a problem. very wearable. You know, because I, if you're like me, I mean, sometimes my four prong set pieces, they get caught on a mohair sweater mm -hmm. or on a silk blouse or on, you know, something that's crocheted or knit. And this is so smooth, you know, it's not going to get in the way of no. your life. You can really live your life in it and there's an elegance and a grace about it. I also, Jane, appreciate the balance of gold to diamonds yeah, here. Yeah, there's a lot of gold in this Yeah, one. it does not feel wimpy. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel light. There's nothing more disappointing to me than picking up a delicate piece of jewelry and having it feel light or tinny. Right. This has got a nice amount of gold. And what I'd love to do is go back to kind of Affinity Diamonds 101 because you are <laughs> diamond certified by the Gemological Institute of America. It is a long, amazing process, both in diamonds mm -hmm. and in colored gemstones. So Michelle can really talk to us. You know, it's funny. I think before you came along and before Affinity came along, we only heard about like the color and the clarity when we were buying a single stone, perhaps in an engagement ring. And when other, like you say, even now, I learned when I was trying to shop around and just looking to see what else is out there, no one is giving you the information that Michelle is and we are with Thank Affinity. You. So Thank why you. don't we start with the clarity? Because yes. we, we hear about these C's and diamonds, mm -hmm. right? There's right. four of them, right? <laughs> There's four of them. And uh, the thing is, is every one of them is important, right? But if one of them is off kilter, it's awful. So 
So what I love about the clarity that we guarantee is it's at a minimum. With QVC, it's I2 or better clarity. One of the hardest things to do is to gem sort and color match diamonds. It takes a lot of time. You have to sort through literally sometimes thousands of diamonds to find the right, what's referred to as the right make. So I2 or better is our guarantee there. Also, our colorless quality is near colorless. This is very, very high quality as far as that goes. I mean, that's at a minimum. So when you surround it in gold and you set it with such care and such love and you get a nice amount of weight about it, magic happens. I'm telling you, when those four C's come into alignment, yeah. it's like the heavens open up. Aww. You're in for a real treat when you open that box. Like a diamond in the sky, right? <laughs> you know, the first one of the first songs we probably learned as a little one. Well, unfortunately, I have more updates. And I will tell you, don't go to bed without the earrings, especially, or your ring size in the value of the day. And if it's a lot of times I put things in my cart like shoes. I forget. I, 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 and Bernardo shoes, I love them. We don't bring in a lot of them. Okay. And I went back in and it was like, it wasn't even in my like like save for later I'm like what happened gone like they, well, it's like we're sorry this item is sold out please don't let that happen to you and actually we're heading in the same direction with this bracelet which is to tuck away for that daughter who's having a new baby or you know the daughter who's on her own and she is just doing it and you mm -hmm. want to give her the gift of diamonds if you want the yellow gold we sold out of the six and three quarter the seven and a quarter and the eight inch is still available, but they're last call. So the yellow is almost gone. And then we look at the white, the white gold. We have a dozen in the six and three quarter, a dozen in the seven and a quarter, and then last call in the eight inch. And then the one thing I wanted to show, Michelle, is like even if it does flip over, unlike well, a tennis bracelet, sides. it's really cool because there you get to see the, the culet. Whole, yeah, that we normally don't see. And if somebody right. says, oh, what's the culet? Tell me about that. So the culet is where the diamond comes to a point. And it's a really important part of the diamond because it collects light and throws it back up to the table and back up to your eye. By exposing the culet, having it flip around, the light can get around it in a different way. So you see the color play in a whole different light, literally a whole different yeah. light. So if it does flip, it's, I mean, it's with a tennis totally bracelet, okay. like a classic tennis bracelet, not if so it flips good. around, not so good. Yeah. I mean, I think this is so much more. I love Michelle's idea of pairing it with your Apple Watch. Yeah. <laughs> I really think it looks kind of spectacular with a little something we like to call the today's special value. Totally. And Michelle called it the fire and ice ring. And I'm telling you, this is on fire, absolutely. And Jeff Mosley brought out a really good point in the first two hour show that we did leading into this whole My Jewelry Favorites. And it's all about your favorites that I know you love. And he said, you know, we're, we're almost in September, right? We're getting close to a big countdown to Christmas on the 25th of August, four months. Wow. I mean, you have to be done shopping <laughs> way before that, I okay. know. Little moment there. But at this point, we don't do the big 24 hour gem day where we might have multiple affinity diamond hours because gem day is oh, over right. for the year. Yeah, so that's right. it's, this is a really great moment to think about what you're buying for the holidays and beyond. Okay, the yellow gold is gone. So we just made up your mind for you. Here's what's left in the white. The six and three quarter inches last call. The seven and a quarter inch, we have a dozen. And then the eight inch, well, that just sold out. So obviously all we have left is the white gold, and uh, which is solid 14 karat white gold. It's not yellow gold that has been plated. Exactly. We it's give you true K. white gold through and through in 14 karat white gold, which right. is actually more reflective than traditional yellow gold. So if you mm -hmm. love the sparkle, that's the way to go. I'll, I'll leave this on my wrist for a while, but I have a feeling they're going to be taking it off yeah. my wrist. Yeah. I don't know. So the one thing we haven't really seen yet